Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, everyone. Check, check. Check, check. Can you guys hear me okay? Or both of us? Yeah. We're good. Are we all good? Wait, so before we start, can I say something? Of course. This is the first time Anurag and I are doing a joint class together ever. So teaching together. So really, like, to be here with you guys at Michelle's studio, who's like literally family to us, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to do this with you, seriously. So, yes. Yeah, it's truly an honor. Like, 20 years is absolutely insane. And <laughs> I can't wait. And I'm, I'm excited for the next 20 years. And yeah. this is my first time teaching here, but I'm looking forward to teaching many more classes here. So <laughs> you'll see me a lot more. So thank you for having me. Let's have a good class. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All right. Go let's ahead. do it. Standing. So we start the class with pranayama breathing. Do we have any new students today? Liar. <laughs> Liar. New students? <laughs> okay. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, first class, try to just look around, follow the class as you go. But most importantly, try to stay in the room. Try to adjust to the heat. If you need to sit down, drink some water, it's all good. But yeah, have a good class. Alrighty, let's begin. We start the class with pranayama breathing. Everyone feet together nicely together, toes and heels touching each other. Interlock your 10 fingers. Place them underneath your chin. Get a nice tight grip. Look in the mirror. Swallow a couple times. Concentrate and meditate. Relax the shoulders. Get ready. And start, please. Inhale. Hold it there. Full lungs. Exhale. Slowly push your head back. Way, 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 way back. Elbows touching each other. Elbows touching. Inhale. Head down. Nice and slow. Six seconds. Try to bring your elbows up all the way. Stomach in. Full lungs. Hold it. Exhale, slowly push your head back, way, way, way back. Keep a nice tight grip. Cut your elbows at the very end. Hold it there. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale, head down. Nice and slow. The slower you go, the better you do. Six seconds. Suck your stomach in. Full lungs. Elbows all the way up. Exhale. Slowly push your head back. Nice, everyone. Make sure you don't lose that grip. Keep a nice, tight grip. Elbows touching. Hold it there. Inhale. Head down. Nice. Now chest up. Chest up. Open up your chest. Suck your stomach in. Rib cage should be visible in the mirror. Full lungs. Exhale, slowly push your head, head head back, way, way, way back. Nice job, everyone. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Elbows touching. Hold it there. Inhale, head down. Nice and slow. Suck your stomach in. Spine straight. Leg muscles nice and tight. Push your hips forward towards the front mirror. Hold it. Exhale, slowly push your head back. Nice job, everyone. Spine straight. Spine straight, leg muscles nice and tight, elbows touching, hold it. Inhale, head down. Nice. Spine straight, everyone. Look in the mirror. Suck your stomach in, full lungs all the way up. Exhale, slowly push your head back. Relax the shoulders. Nice. Bring your elbows together, touching at the very end. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five. Six full lungs. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale, head down. Last one. Let's make it a nice, strong inhale. Suck your stomach in. Rib cage visible. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Exhale. Slowly push your head back. There you go. Exhale as much as possible. Let it all out. And relax. Arms down by your side. Relax the shoulders. All right, everybody. Second set. If you want to shake out the shoulders, shake out the arms, swallow a couple times, lick the lips. Second set, pranayama breathing. Feet together, interlock the 10 fingers. Cross the thumbs and place them underneath the chin. Shoulders relaxed. Concentrate in the mirror and start. 
Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your neck back with the help of your hands and then stretch your elbows all the way in front of your chest. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down, in through the nose as much as possible, as long as possible, and as slow as possible to get the maximum benefit. And then let it out, let it all out. So out through the mouth, eyes open, breathing normal. So you wanna feel the vibration in the back of the throat. Inhale, head down. So take your time, suck the stomach in, chest up, chest up, hold it in and let it out. Let it all out, beautiful. So leg muscles are nice and tight. The hip muscles are solid concrete. Stretch the elbows all the way in front of the chest. Inhale, head down. So in through the nose. Take your time, suck your stomach in, chest up, suck it in, tighten up, hold it, and then let it out. Let it all out, out through the mouth. So at the end, you wanna push the hips forward a little bit, and then also lift up the elbows just a little bit. Inhale, head down, take your time. Suck the stomach in, chest up, elbows up a little bit more, and then let it out, let it all out, out through the mouth eyes open, breathing normal, neck might hurt a little bit, it's okay, inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, head up, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, head down, in through your nose, suck the stomach in, spine straight, rib cage visible, suck it in, tighten up, hold it, and let it out, let it all out, beautiful, nice and strong, exhale, drop the shoulders, spine straight, stretch the elbows all the way in front, inhale, head down, couple more to go in the second set, make these the last two the best ones, suck the stomach in, chest up, chest up, hold it in, and then exhale, breathing. <sighs> Feel the vibration in the back of the throat when you're exhaling. And last one. Exhale. That's enough. Next up, we have half moon pose, everyone. Feet together nicely at the line, toes and heels touching each other. Arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock your 10 fingers, release the index finger, thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip, please don't lose the grip. Hands, palms touching each other like glue all the way up to the ceiling throughout the posture. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward towards the front mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis, upper body leaning back a couple of inches. Take a deep breath, stretch up towards the ceiling, try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, slowly, gently bend your body to the right side without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to the toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your left hip forward to keep your two hips in one line, right shoulder forward, opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push, come down and push, come down and push, 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 change. Nice job, everyone. Slowly come up, stop up in the middle, take a deep breath, push your hips forward, stretch up towards the ceiling, absolutely straight line, and gently bend your body to the left side without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. Come down, everyone. Hips forward, arms back, chin up a little, come down all the way, push your hips forward, arms back, come down and push, come down and push, come down and push, 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 change. Nice job, everyone. Slowly come up, stop in the middle, backward bending, don't be scared. Take a deep breath and drop your head back as far as the as far as it goes and look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately and try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back and try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on the heels. Inhale breathing, stomach, legs, hips. Everything pushed forward towards the front mirror. Fall back, go back, way back, more back all the way. Change, nice job, nice job. Slowly come up. And now bend your body forward, 
Place your hands on the floor in front of you. Be careful of the lower spine. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward bending. So loosen up the legs, right and left, right and left. There we go. Bend the knees if you have to, but make sure your lower back is nice and loose, flexible, comfortable. When you're ready, grab the heels from behind. Underneath the heels, all five fingers touching each other. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side. There we go. We get a nice, tight grip. Don't lose that grip. And now pull on your heels as hard as possible and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, you want to look like a nice Japanese ham sandwich. No gap anywhere. So pull on your heels, push the knees back, and lock the knees. Roll forward and lock the knees. Eyes open, breathing normal. Lock the knees. Last couple seconds, everyone. Lock the knees. Touch your face. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. And lock the knees. Arms and head together. Slowly come up. Arms down by your side and relax. Woo! All right, second set, let's do it. Feet together, arms over your head, interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs cross, nice and tight grip, everybody. So you wanna keep the hand palms touching each other, like glue throughout the posture. Hips forward a little bit, arms back, stretch up towards the ceiling, inhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or knees, and then continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, trying to create the tremendous stretching in the left side, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to the toes. Push the hips more forward, upper body back more, and the weight is in the heels. Now bring the left hip forward to get the both hips in one line, right shoulder a little bit, everybody, right shoulder forward, come down and push and push and push change inhale breathing slowly come up all right left side inhale breathing take a deep breath stretch up all the way and then absolutely straight line slowly bend your body to the left and keep breathing without bending your elbows or knees and continuously push the hips to the right beyond your flexibility you want to create tremendous stretching feeling in the right side all over inside out bones to skin fingertips to the toes hips more forward upper body back more Weight is in the heels. Now bring the right hip a little bit forward to get both hips in one line. Left shoulder more forward, everybody. Come down and push and push and push. Change, inhale, breathing, slowly come up and then stop in the middle. All right, everybody, back bending. Let's do it right away. Take a deep breath, full lungs, and then drop your head back as far as it goes. Try to look at the floor behind you and then immediately arms back. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from your coccyx to your neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, whole spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Weight is in your heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Okay, hands to feet pose, everybody bend the knees. Are we okay back there? Wanna take her out for a sec? Go outside, please, yeah. It's our first class. You're doing great. You can go outside. Go for it. All right, everybody else, suck the stomach in, bend the knees, put the hands on the floor in front of you. And then also, um, little pointer, suck the stomach in. Keep it sucked in. Check the lower spine. And when you're ready, grab the heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers. So little baby fingers side by side. Yeah. And then lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Pull on the heels. Stretch the body down. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. So from the side, no gap anywhere. So everybody roll forward a little bit onto the toes and then lift the hips up, pull on the heels, push the knees back, try to lock the knees. Exhale, breathing, lock the knees. Eyes open, lock the knees. Roll forward, lock the knees. Last chance, face on the legs, lock the knees, lock the knees, lock the knees, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Arms and head together and arms down by your side. All right, Utkatasana awkward pose, let's do it. Right foot step to the right, six inch gap between the feet. So for my new students, um, if you wanna put the two fists together 
and just in between the feet so it's the right distance for your body. Should be hip distance. Heels invisible behind the toes. Everybody arms up parallel to the floor. All five fingers touching nice and tight. Elbows locked. Tricep muscles nice and tight. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in and sit down, feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Spine is straight to begin with, 100% body weight on the heels. And now lift your chest up and bring your upper body back. Total spine backward bending. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in, hold it in. Compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles. So suck it in, tighten up, hold it. Chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back way back, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. And let's do second part, keep the arms there if you can. Stand up on the toes, maximum like a ballerina, all the way, tremendous concentration, don't even blink. And then on the tops of the toes, sit down. Spine, perfectly straight. So imagine that you're leaning against the wall. The hips and the head are touching the wall throughout the posture. So sit down only halfway until the hips touch the chair, hips touch the chair, now heels up more, knees up more, higher on the toes, chest up, spine straight, hold it there, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. All right, we're keeping our arms there. Nobody's dropping them. Let's go, third part. Stand up on the toes, just a little bit, half inch gap underneath the heels, knees together, exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in and sit down nice and slow. Tremendous concentration. Don't even blink, spine straight. Now sit down the, till there's a half inch gap underneath the heels. Now bring the knees together and forward a little bit. Arms are parallel to the legs. Legs are parallel to the ground. From the side, you look like a box. Change, inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Careful with the knees. Right foot step back and arms down by your side. Woo, good job, everybody. All right. All righty. Second set, Ukatasana pose, awkward pose. Everyone, right leg step to the right, six inches apart, arms up parallel to the floor. Elbows locked, tricep muscles nice and tight, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward towards the front mirror, suck your stomach in, take a deep breath. Now slowly, gently sit down until your hips touch the chair. Sit down all the way until your hips touch the chair. Now lift your chest up, bend your spine backwards. There we go, suck your stomach in everyone. Open your knees a little bit to make sure there's a six inch gap in between your feet, knees, elbows, hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back at the very end, change, nice job. Second part, try to keep your arms there. Stand up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina, all the way up on your tippy toes, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Tremendous concentration and focus. Don't blink your eyes, you might lose the balance. Take a deep breath, slowly, gently sit down on top of your toes. There we go, everyone. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. You are leaning up against the wall. Now come up higher in the toes, higher in the toes, higher in the toes. Suck your stomach in. Don't blink your eyes. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. A little lower. Change. Nice job. Third part, keep your arms there. Keep your arms there. Stretch your arms forward towards the front mirror. Suck your stomach in. Leaning, leaning up against the wall the whole time, slowly sit down, all the way down. Try to take 10 seconds to go all the way down. Nice job, everyone, very slowly. Nice job, you're leaning up against the wall. Now squeeze your knees together and stretch your knees forward towards the front mirror. Your thighs are parallel to the floor. Your arms are parallel to the thighs. From the side, you wanna look like a box. Now everyone bounce a little bit up and down, bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. And now balance, nice job. Balance, chest up, balance, chest up, balance, chest up, stomach in, hold it there. Last couple seconds, change. Slowly come up, knees together, spine straight. Right foot step back, arms down by your side, and relax. Three sets, that's it? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, take a breath here, everybody. Next posture, Garvasana. We're gonna warm up all the major joints in the body. Feet together, arms over your head. Right arm underneath the left arm. So make sure you know which one's right or left. Right arm underneath the left arm, and for my new students, cross them at the elbow, then the wrist and then thumbs facing you, little baby fingers towards the mirror. Sit down all the way till the hips touch the chair. Bounce a couple times. So class, you don't wanna come forward. Upper body back a little bit, just like an awkward. Inhale, breathing, right leg over the left leg. 
as high as possible until the foot is completely underneath the calf muscle. So all five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in and sit down more. So there should be no gap at all between the calf or the foot. Uh, everybody else, upper body back a little bit more. Upper body back a little bit more, sit down more. I'll bring the knees to the left, to the right, upper body to the left, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up, arms over your head. Take a deep breath, left side, left arm, zoom underneath the right arm, twist them like ropes, nice and tight. Yes, you got it, nice, perfect. Palms facing, thumbs facing you. Now sit down all the way, right away, as much as you can until your hips touch the chair. Upper body back a little bit, then inhale, breathing, left leg over the right leg, as high as possible, until the foot is completely underneath the calf muscle. Nice, so all the five toes, you should be able to see them in the front mirror. Now everybody exhale, breathing, suck the stomach in and sit down more. Also bring the upper body back a little bit more and pull the fingertips below the nose, open up the shoulders, suck the stomach in, sit down more, lean back one more time, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up, arms over your head. What? Second set, right arm underneath the left arm and twist your arms like ropes. Second set, try to get an even tighter grip, guys. Now stretch your elbows down towards the floor. Suck your stomach in, slowly sit down until your hips touch the chair. Bounce a couple times to make sure you're sitting down low enough. Take a deep breath, right leg up and over your left, left leg as high as possible and twist your legs like ropes. Place your right foot behind the left calf muscle so all five toes are visible in the front mirror. Now since the right leg is on top, everyone bring your knees to the right and upper body to the left to get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, arch your upper body back more. More. Lean back at the very end, change, slowly come up, arms over your head, now left arm underneath the right arm and twist your arms like ropes, get a nice tight grip, thumbs towards your nose, stretch your elbows down towards the floor, everyone suck your stomach in, slowly gently sit down until your hips touch the chair, sit down even lower, all the way down, all the way down, now left leg up and over your right leg as high as possible, twist your legs like ropes, make sure your left foot is on the right calf muscle so all five toes are visible in the front mirror. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the left, to the right to get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. Sit down more guys, lean back at the very end, stomach in, lean back and change. Nice job. Slowly come up, arms over your head, arms down by your side. Party time. Party time. Have a drink of water. Woo! So is everybody here gonna visit us at teacher training? Yes? Did Michelle make this announcement yet? Okay, teacher training is on April 16th to June 18th. Uh, holiday packages also for anybody who wants to come and spend a few days or a week with us doing yoga in Thailand. Woo! Yeah. And it's the best location that we've done training at. Seriously, we've been to all of them and this is by far the best one. Phuket, Phuket same place. Yeah. It's amazing. You get out of class, you get a cold coconut and then you run into the ocean and you're reading your dialogue while you're cooling down in there. What could be better, honestly, you know? Okay, all right, let's do it. Standing head to knee. Okay, so everybody, if your hands are super sweaty, wipe them if you need to. Grip is super tight in this next posture. Grip is important and tight. All right, so shift the weight over to the left leg, interlock the 10 fingers, and then pick up the right foot in front of you, three inches below the toes, all 10 fingers included in the grip. So from start to finish, you wanna concentrate in the mirror on the standing leg, no knee. Inhale, breathing, slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is parallel to the floor, not higher, not lower. So if your leg is too high, bring the leg down a little bit, just parallel to the floor. Kick the heel forward towards the mirror, flex the toes in towards the face. So if both knees are locked, then go ahead and bend the elbows next to the calf muscle. Eventually the elbows will go below the calf muscle. Change, slowly come out, right leg down. Left side, shift the weight over to the right leg, interlock the 10 fingers and pick up the left foot in front of you, three inches below the toes. So then from start to finish, 
Concentrate on the standing leg, the knee. No knee, all the muscles contracted. Inhale, breathing, slowly, gently, left leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is parallel to the floor, not higher, not lower. So please make sure the standing leg is locked, the right knee, solid concrete, one piece unbroken. Kick the left heel forward towards the mirror, flex the toes in towards the face. So if both knees are locked, now go ahead, bend the elbows next to the calf muscle. Eventually the elbows will go below the calf muscle. Change, slowly come out. Arms by your side. Do a quick half second back bend, loosen up the lower spine. Always feels good. Can I make one quick correction before Anurag does it? Okay, so for this pose, I see this a lot when I travel and teach. When you bring the body, because the leg has to be parallel to the floor, right? So if your upper body is too high, then the, it's hard to lock the standing leg and kick out. So if your body is lower, hold on. If your body is a little bit lower, then the leg will go where it needs to go. If it's too high, it's difficult for the most flexible person. There's not enough space. So little adjustment for second set. That was for you. Let's do it. Okay. Second set, standing head to knee. Everyone shift your body weight back through your left leg. Go down and grab the right foot. All 10 fingers together, a few inches below the toes. Get a nice, tight grip. Now concentrate on your standing leg. Make sure your standing leg is solid, concrete, one-piece, lamppost, on, broken. You have no knee. Take a deep breath. Right leg stretch forward all the way towards the front mirror until your right leg is parallel to the floor, not higher, not lower. From the side, you want to look like an upside down L like Linda. Flex the toes back, kick the heel out. If both knees are locked and you can still balance there, stretch your elbows down towards the floor. But make sure your standing leg is locked. Nice job, everyone. If, you can, if your elbows are going down, now touch your forehead on the knee. Suck your stomach in and touch your forehead on the knee, but make sure your standing leg is is locked. Nice job, everyone. Don't lose that grip. Touch your forehead on the knee. Last couple seconds. Hold it there. Flex the foot back. Change. Nice. Slowly come up. Right leg down. Relax the right foot. foot. And now pick up the left foot. Get a nice tight grip. Two inches below the toes, all ten fingers together. Get a nice tight grip. Make sure your standing leg is locked. You have no knee. And now inhale, breathing. Kick the left leg forward all the way towards the front mirror until your left leg is parallel towards the floor. Flex the toes back, kick the heel out. Make sure your standing leg is locked. If you can still bounce there, stretch your elbows down towards the floor. Use your extra strength to keep your leg up and now touch your forehead on the knees. Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest. Don't lose that grip. Make sure your standing leg is locked. Kick the heel out. Make sure you have a nice tight grip. Touch your forehead, touch your forehead if you can. Hold it there. Last couple seconds. Change. Left leg down. Arms down by your side. One more quick half second back bending just to loosen up the lower spine. Nice job, everyone. And also for my new students, the one-legged postures are intended to get our heart rates up, cardiovascular system. So if you feel more dizzy or anything, it's completely normal. So if you need to sit, that's fine. Um, okay, two sets finished. Let's do it. Dandaya Mana Dhanurasana, standing bow pulling posture. Feet together. Bring your right arm out in front of you, elbow close to the body, palm facing up. Mama, give me money. Mama, give me yeah. money. <laughs> Pick up the right foot from the inside of the ankle. All five fingers included in the grip. What did you say? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mama. Left arm up towards the ceiling. So you want to keep the five fingers together and the elbow locked. Standing leg is locked and bring the knees together to begin. Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Simultaneously kick your leg back and up towards the ceiling as much as possible. Bring your body down from your lower spine until your abdomen and chest are completely parallel to the floor. So keep kicking everybody, keep kicking. You're kicking so hard, your foot is coming off the top of your head in the front mirror. Both feet in one line from the side, stretch forward. Go and touch the mirror, go and touch the mirror. Shoulder close to the chin, shoulder close to the chin. Two shoulders are in one line in the front mirror. The right shoulder is completely invisible behind the left shoulder in the front mirror. Two shoulders are in one line. Keep kicking everybody. Everybody body down more. Body down more. Stretch forward. Go and touch the mirror. Go and touch the mirror. Kick back more. Kick back more. Body down more. One more time. 
change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come out. Beautiful arms by your side and just take a breath here. In through the nose and out through the nose. Left side, Dande Manadhanarasana. Bring the left arm out in front of you, elbow close to the body. Pick up the left foot from the inside of the ankle. All five fingers included in the grip. Okay, uh, my new student right here, you're turning the hand, I can see. So bring the hand out again, the left hand. Put it out like this, sideways. Now don't drop, imagine if you had money in your hand, you don't want to drop it. So just pick it up like this from the inside. Let me see, yep, there you go. It always works. Can't get that wrong. <laughs> Got it. Dad was a genius for that one. <laughs> right hand up towards the ceiling, <laughs> chin close to the shoulder, bring the knees together to begin. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Simultaneously kick your leg back and up towards the ceiling as much as possible. Bring your body down from your lower spine until your abdomen and chest are completely parallel to the floor. Keep kicking, everybody, keep kicking. You're kicking so hard, your foot is coming off the top of your head in the front mirror, both feet in one line from the side. Everybody look forward, go and touch the mirror, go and touch the mirror, shoulder close to the chin, bring the shoulder close to the chin. The right sh left shoulder is invisible behind the right right shoulder, two shoulders are in one line. Keep kicking, everybody, keep kicking. Kicking and stretching are simultaneous, 50-50. If you kick hard enough, you will balance forever, kick back more, body down more, stretch forward more, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come out, left leg down, arms by your side, and just breathe. Ah. Second set, standing bow pulling pose. Right hand up, palm facing the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the side and pick up the right foot at the ankle from the inside. Get a nice tight grip. Left hand up in front of you. Bring your two knees together to begin. Take a deep breath, everyone. And now slowly, gently charge your body forward all the way. Bring your body down and kick your right leg up as high as possible. You want to see your right foot coming up over your head in the front here. So everyone bring your body down and kick. Stretch forward more kick. Try to touch the front mirror, but make sure your standing leg is locked. Everyone body down and kick. Stretch forward more and kick. Come down more and kick. Last couple seconds and kick and kick and kick. Change. Nice job. Right leg down, left hand up. Grab the left foot from the inside. Get a nice tight grip right at the ankle. Right hand up in front of you. Bring your knees together to begin. Take a deep breath. And now charge your body forward all the way. Bring your body down and kick your leg up as high as possible. You want to see your left foot coming up over your head in the front mirror. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous. 50-50. The harder you kick, the longer you can bounce. So everyone, bring your body down more. Bring your body down more and kick your left leg up as high as possible. Come down and kick. Make sure your standing leg is locked. Body down and kick. Come down and kick. Last couple seconds and kick change slowly come up left leg down arms down by your side and relax okay everybody our final balancing posture tula dandasana balancing stick please step to the back of your towel or your mat so this posture is only 10 seconds long so right away from the second you hear the clap you want to give 110 otherwise it's over before it even started all right, feet together, arms over your head, interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed, so nice and tight grip. Throughout the posture, try to keep the arms, ears, biceps, everything touching nice and tight. Stretch up towards the ceiling, inhale, breathing, right leg step forward, a big step, both knees locked, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Come down all the way until your abdomen and chest are completely parallel to the floor. From the side, you look like a T like a Tom, T like a Tom, elbow locked, knee locked, toe pointed, leg up, leg up, leg up, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly step back and keep the arms there. Left side, inhale, breathing, left leg step forward, a big step, both knees locked, and boom, right away, charge your body forward. Come down all the way until your abdomen and chest are completely parallel to the floor. From the side, you look like a T, like a Tom. Go ahead, stretch forward, touch the mirror, elbows locked, right leg up more, leg up, leg up, leg up. Change, inhale, breathing, slowly step back, and arms down by your side.
Alrighty, second set. So second set, don't hesitate. Try to get into the posture as quick as possible. As soon as your right leg plants, go right in. So arms over your head sideways, palms together. Get a nice tight grip. Release the index finger, thumbs crossed. Stretch up towards to the ceiling all the way up. Push your hips forward towards the mirror. Lean back a little bit. Take a deep breath. And now right leg step forward. A big step. Lock both knees. And now charge your body forward all the way. Bring your body down and leg up. Everyone calm down and leg up. Look in the front mirror. Don't look on the ground. Bring your body down and leg up. Make sure your standing leg is locked. Come down and stretch. Come down and stretch. Come down and stretch. Stretch, stretch. Change. Nice job, everyone. Slowly come up. Take a deep breath, stretch up towards the ceiling, lean back a little bit, and now left leg step forward, big step, lock both knees, charge your body forward all the way, bring your body down and leg up, make sure both knees are locked, stretch your arms forward towards the front mirror, don't look on the ground guys, try to look in the mirror, bring your body down and stretch, come down and stretch, come down and stretch, 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 change, arms and head together, slowly step back, arms down by your side, and relax. Okay, everybody, uh, how do we do it here? Left side, cool, that's the way I like it. So everybody, please step to the left side of the towel or your mat. Uh, if you need to stagger, so we're not, uh, people's feet are not on top of each other, unless you want that, <laughs> that's fine too. <laughs> Teacher training, I think we all like to be on top. <laughs> okay, so good, staggered, 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 looks good. Okay, separate leg stretching. We have a nice water break right after this one before triangle, so nothing comes out upside down. All right, feet together. You want to step out? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Thank you for asking. It's okay. Before the pose, yoga etiquette. Okay, feet together, let's do it. Arms over your head, right foot step to the right, big step, four feet immediately, arms down parallel to the floor. Um, one thing I want to just point out really quick, when you take this step, you want to step without looking at the foot, just arms down. Your body knows where to go. You're staring at yourself all day in class, trust it. Because when you look, that's when things start to turn. So it's better to have the one step, trust the body, and then look down. And I bet you, you're fine. Pigeon toe the toes in a little bit. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. Don't tuck the chin to the chest. Look at yourself in the mirror. You go down. Nice. As much as you can, look at yourself in the mirror. And then when you can't anymore, then grab the heels from the outside. If you can't grab the heels, you can grab the feet, not a problem. Just make sure throughout the posture that both knees are locked. And then pull on the heels and stretch the body down. Touch the forehead on the floor. So roll forward a little bit onto the toes. Pull on the heels, stretch the body down, touch the forehead on the floor. So first the legs are stretching, then the hips are stretching, then the lower spine is stretching, whole spine is stretching, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the neck. Pull on the heels, stretch the body down, and touch the forehead on the floor. Change. Inhale, breathing slowly. Come up, arms by your side. Right foot step back, arms over your head, and arms down. Second set. All right, everyone. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. And now right leg step to the right, a big step and arms down parallel to the floor. Nice job, everyone. Pigeon toe your toes a little bit if you need to. Suck your stomach in, chin up, and now slowly go down front side. Bend your body forward from the lower spine towards the floor. Try to go down really slowly looking at the mirror the entire time. And now grab the heels from the outside. If you can't grab the heels, grab the foot from the outside, get a nice tight grip, pull on your feet, and now stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor, and try to touch your forehead on the floor. If you can't touch your forehead, open your legs a little bit, it'll be easier. But try to touch your forehead, stretch down all the way, first your lower spine is stretching, then your middle spine, your entire spine is stretching top to bottom. Last couple of seconds, everyone, touch your forehead, roll forward and touch your forehead. Inhale, breathing, arms and head together. Slowly come up, right leg step back, arms down by your side, and relax. Okay, everybody, water break. If you want to have, oh, did you do the, okay, water break. Water break. <laughs> have some water, please, before I triangle. If you want. Sure, thank you. 
I wonder if our mom is watching this <laughs> live stream. <laughs> Possible. Thank you. Okay, you guys ready? Had some water? Let's do it. Trikonasana triangle posture. Please step to the left side of your towel or your mat. Feet together, arms over your head. Right foot step to the right, big step. One chance, arms down immediately, parallel to the floor. So everybody push the hips forward a little bit and the arms back. Now turn the right foot to the right, half an inch more so that it's parallel to the front mirror and then bend the right knee and sit down all the way. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a motorcycle ride to make sure that you're sitting down low enough. And once your hips are down there, don't move. Inhale, breathing, move both of the arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the right knee, fingertips in between the big toe and the second toe. Look up towards the ceiling so the profile of your face is completely visible in the front mirror. Stretch the left arm up towards the ceiling, chin close to the shoulder, right arm down towards the floor, no weight on the fingertips. Both arms stretching in opposite directions like a natural human traction. Left hip forward towards the mirror with the help of the right elbow, push the right knee back, turn and twist the upper body like in spine twisting position. Left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor, inhale breathing, slowly come up. Woo! Other side, turn the right foot in, left foot out all the way. Take a breath here if you need. Bend the left knee, sit down all the way. So you really wanna make sure that you're sitting down low enough so it should look like an upside down L. Now bring the hips forward, arms back. Inhale, breathing, move both of the arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of the left knee, fingertips in between the big toe and the second toe. Look up towards the ceiling so the profile of your face is completely visible in the front mirror and then stretch the left arm up towards the ceiling, chin close to the shoulder, right arm down towards the floor, no weight on the fingertips, both arms stretching in opposite directions like a natural human traction, right hip forward towards the mirror with the help of the left elbow, push the left knee back, turn and twist the upper body like in spine twisting position, right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor, inhale breathing, slowly come up. Nice. Right foot step back, arms over your head. Take a little break here, 10 seconds. In through the nose, out through the nose. You work every muscle in this posture, including the tongue when it's hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second set, Trikonasana, triangle pose, everyone. Arms over your head sideways, and now right leg step to the right, a big step, and arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your right foot out to the right, Turn it a half inch more for insurance. There we go. Now bend the right knee and sit down all the way. Second set, try to sit down even lower. Everyone sit down lower. Bounce a couple of times to make sure you're sitting down low enough. Now push your hips forward towards the front mirror, arms back, open up your chest, take a deep breath. Now move both arms at the same time and place your right elbow in front of the right knee and your right hand fingertips in between the big toe and second toe. Everyone look up towards the ceiling so the profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. Chin touching with the shoulder. Left hand stretch up towards the ceiling and right hand stretch down towards the floor. Both hands stretching in opposite directions like a natural human traction. Now everyone make sure you're looking up towards the ceiling push the right knee back with the help of your elbow upper body turn and twist backward like spine twisting posture and change slowly come up turn the right foot back in turn the left foot out bend the left knee and sit down all the way second set don't cheat yourself sit down even lower all the way all the way sit down bounce a couple of times to make sure you're sitting down low enough push your hips forward towards the front mirror arms back open up your chest take a deep breath move both arms at the same time and place your left elbow in front of the left knee, left hand fingertips in between the big toe and second toe, but no pressure on the floor at the fingertips. Now everyone look up towards the ceiling so the profile of your face is visible in the front mirror, chin touching with the shoulder, right hand stretch up, left hand stretch down, both arms stretching in opposite directions like a natural human traction, upper body turn and twist backward like spine twisting posture and change. Nice job everyone. Right leg back, arms over your head, arms down by your side, and relax. Next, we have separate leg head to knee. Brought our heart rates up. Let's bring them back down now. Feet together, arms over your head. 
palms together, thumbs crossed. So for this grip, everybody, it's just the palms together, thumbs crossed, not the interlocked. Arms, ears, biceps, everything touching nice and tight. Right foot step to the right, just three feet this time. And then turn to the right all the way. To the right side mirror. And then back side foot is at a 45 degree angle. And adjust the hips one, two, three, four, five times. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in. Tuck your chin to your chest and touch your forehead on the knee. Touch your forehead on the knee. So if you need to bend the knee up to touch the forehead on the knee, no problem. You can bend the knee up. All good. But the forehead must touch the knee. Two things going on here. Head touching the knee and then stretching the fingertips beyond the toes, everybody. Try to lock the elbows. Try to lock the elbows. Push on the floor with your fingertips a couple times. Try to lock the right knee. Last chance, change. Inhale, breathing. Slowly come up, arms and head together with control. And then turn and face the front. Then turn all the way to the left side. And again, backside foot, 45 degree angle. Adjust the hips if you need to five times. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest, and touch your forehead on the knee. Forehead on the knee. So if you need to bend the knee up, please bend the knee up. Compression, abdominal compression, forehead to the knee, and then extension of the shoulder and the scapula while you stretch the fingertips beyond the toes. Now also, if the left hip is down, right hip is up, push on the floor a little bit, a couple times. Try to get the both hips in one line. Lock the knee one more time. Change. Inhale, breathing. Slowly come up, arms and head together. Turn and face the front. Right foot step back and arms down by your side. Second set, everyone. Arms over your head sideways. Take a deep breath. And now right leg step to the right. Keep your arms there. Now turn your body to the right, everyone, all the way at least five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now make sure your two heels are in one line. Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest, and slowly go down front side. And touch your forehead on the knee. Forehead must touch the knee. If you can't touch your forehead on the knee, bend the knee a little bit. But your forehead must touch the knee. Stretch your arms forward in front of your right foot. There we go. Touch the forehead, but make sure your backside foot heel is flat, up, flat on the floor. I see a few heels coming off the floor. Make sure your heel is touching the floor. Change. Slowly come up. Keep your arms there. And now turn your body all the way to the left, 185 degrees beyond your flexibility. One, two, three, four, five. Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest, arms together, slowly go down front side, and touch your forehead on the knee. Everybody touch your forehead on the knee. Forehead must touch the knee. Make, make, make sure your backside foot heel is flat on the floor. Yeah, there you go. Stretch your arms forward in front of you. At the very end, try to lock the knee if you can. With the help of your forehead, lock out the knee at the very end. Lock it out, lock it out, lock it out. Change. Inhale, breathing. Arms and head together. Slowly come up. Turn to the middle. Right leg step back. Arms down by your side and completely relax. Oh. Okay, everybody, let's go back to where we started class for our final standing posture. Tree pose with toe stand. So please step to the middle of your towel or your mat. Feet together. Arms by your side. Now pick up the right foot with the help of the left hand from the outside of the ankle. So we grab it from the outside because the, the hip has to rotate down. So make sure, try to grab it from the outside so you don't hurt the knee. And then standing leg is locked throughout the posture, the left leg. Now right hand up into Namaskar in the middle of your chest. And if you can still balance here without the foot slipping, then bring the left hand up. But if you need to hold it, that's totally fine. My little tip is to put pressure against the thigh with the foot if the foot is slipping. Hold it there. Hips forward. Chest up. Eyes open. Concentrate. Balance. Breathe. Change. Slowly come out. Right leg down. Careful with the knee. 
And then left side, pick up the knee, uh, pick up the foot from the outside of the ankle. Yep. And then slowly, gently let the knee come down. Standing leg is locked. So concentrating in the mirror, bring the left hand up into Namaskar in the middle of your chest. And if you can still balance here, if you're having trouble balancing, look at the knee in the mirror. It'll help you focus on the balance. And if both hands are up, right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand, hips forward, chest up, eyes open, concentrate, balance, breathe, change. Slowly come out, left leg down, arms by your side, second set. Toe stand. All right, everyone, shift your body weight to your left leg and grab the right foot. Place the right foot up against the thigh. Now slowly bend your knees and place your hands in front of you and go down all the way. Be careful of the knees. Be very careful of the knees and slowly go down and sit down. And I'll place both hands on each side of your body. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Now make sure if you're doing toe stand, concentrate four feet in front of you. Now everyone, right hand up in front of your chest. If you can still balance there, then left hand up in a namaskar. But continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, all the way up towards the ceiling. Suck your stomach in. Nice job. Completely focus four feet in front of you. Nice job. Hold it there. Completely freeze. Change. Slowly come up. Be careful of the knee. Right leg down. Relax the right leg. Now pick up the left foot. Place the left foot on your right thigh. Sole the foot up against your costume. Now bend the right knee and sit down all the way. Sit down until your hips touch the heels. If you're doing toe stand, make sure you concentrate four feet in front of you. It's very important to concentrate four feet in front of you. Be careful of the knees. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Left hand up in front of your chest. And now right hand up in a namaskar. Tremendous concentration. Try not to blink your eyes. Hold it there. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Change. Nice job in the back. There Did you go. Did you see go. that? Slowly First time toe stander. Sorry. Relax the right leg. Arms down by your side. And now relax on your back. Thank you, everyone. I forgot the mic was on. <laughs> Good job. That was her first time doing class, first time doing toe stand. So she'll have to come back in here, right guys? Yes. All right, have some water, turn around, relax on your back. So Savasana, two minutes here, perfect timing. Let your feet face the back wall. Heels together, toes fall open, arms close to the body, palms facing up. So for those of you who knew Emmy Cleaves, she always says, used to say in Savasana, you might as well keep the universe. You never know what the universe will give you. So you might as well keep your hands open and your heart open in Savasana, right? Your heart's opening. Palms are up, chakras aligned, in through the nose, and out through the nose. Natural irrigation of the circulatory system with the help of the respiratory. Let your belly rise, belly fall. Pavan Muktasana, wind removing pose. Bend the right knee. Interlock the 10 fingers and grab two inches below the knee. And then pull the right knee down and out towards the right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Shoulders relaxed on the floor. Uh, so just grab the knee below the knee, not the foot. Yeah, there you go. So shoulders relaxed on the floor. So if the spine is going, if you're shifting to the right, bring the spine back to center, pull the right knee down and out a little bit extra hard, make that hip joint hurt. 
change. Slowly come out, right leg down, and then left side. Bend the left knee, interlock the 10 fingers, nice and tight grip, and grab two inches below the knee. Pull the left knee down and out towards the left shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. So shoulders relaxed on the floor, elbows close to the body. Pull a little bit extra hard, make that hip joint hurt. Change, slowly come out. And both legs up, bend the knees, grab the feet, uh, grab the knees, elbows, Whew. grab the elbows each other over the knees. <laughs> there you go. Good, so feet side by side, feet relaxed position. Now everybody, just tuck the chin a little bit to the chest. Don't lift up the head too much, so the neck is flat on the floor. Eventually, each and every vertebrae will be flat on the floor from the coccyx to the neck. Change, slowly come out, both legs down. Savasana. Second set, winner moving pose. Everyone grab the right leg beneath the knee, all 10 fingers together, get a nice tight grip. Now pull the right knee down and out towards the right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Make sure your left leg is completely flat on the floor. Flex the toes back so the calf muscle is touching the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest, elbows close to your, to your body. Yeah, there we go. Get a nice tight grip. Pull your right knee even harder, closer to your chest. Hold it there, completely freeze. Change. Relax the right leg, and now grab the left leg just beneath the knee, all 10 fingers together. Pull the left knee down and out towards your left shoulder, completely avoiding the ribcage. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen, so get a nice tight grip. Bring your left knee down all the way, second set even deeper. There you go. Make sure your right leg is flat on the floor, flex the toes back, tuck your chin to your chest, elbows close to your body, eyes open, breathing normal. Hold it there, freeze. Change, left leg down, relax the left leg, and now immediately both legs lift up all the way and grab your elbows each other. Get a nice tight grip over your elbows. Nice tight grip, try not to cross your feet. Yeah, there we go, toes relaxed, get a nice tight grip. Tuck your chin to your chest so your entire neck is completely flat on the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal, hold it there. Change, both legs down, arms down by your side, palms facing the ceiling, heels together, feet fall out. Try to keep your eyes open, completely relax. All right, everybody, next we have a sit up, feet together, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Turn around and lie down on your stomach for the spine strengthening series. Bhujangasana, cobra posture is our first one. So everybody lie down on your stomach. Bring your hand palms flat on the floor, all five fingertips touching like this. Everybody look up over here, fingertips touching like this. And then all the way underneath the shoulders, little baby fingers in line with the deltoids, tops of the fingers in line with the shoulders. So for the feet, feet together, heels together. Throughout the posture, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Let's keep our legs nice and tight, solid concrete, one piece, chin on the floor. Take a deep breath, lift your upper body up towards the ceiling using 100% of your back strength. Come up only halfway until only your belly button is on the floor. The rest of the upper body is in the air. So from the side, your elbow should look like an L, a 90 degree angle. So bring the elbows a little bit closer to the body towards the hips and pull the shoulders down towards the floor so your trapezius muscles are visible in the front mirror. Your back is supposed to hurt. Look up, go up, struggle harder. One more time, change, slowly come out. Turn and face the right side of the room and left ear on the towel. Second set, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, everyone. Hand palms flat on the floor, underneath your shoulders. Get a nice, tight grip. Equally distribute the weight all over your hand palms. Now, leg muscles nice and tight. Toes touching, heels touching. 
Get a nice, tight grip. Take a deep breath, and now slowly, gently lift your chest up. Come up halfway only. Your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is in the air. So everyone, look up towards the ceiling. Try not to look in the mirror. Look up towards the ceiling. Come up a little more from the side. Your elbow should look like an L. Now stretch your elbows down towards the floor. Don't move completely. Freeze there. Last couple seconds, and change. Nice job, everyone. Slowly come down. Arms down by your side. Right ear on the towel and completely relax. All right, everybody. Poor, oh, no. Salavasana, locust posture. We just did two sets of cobra, right? Okay. So everybody bring the arms underneath the body, palms facing the floor, little baby fingers touching side by side. So everyone, look up here if you're confused for any reason. The elbows underneath completely, little baby fingers, and then separate the fingertips. So, yes. Not like Cobra, the fingertips apart, feet together, heels together, chin on the floor, take a deep breath, inhale breathing, slowly, gently, right leg lift up, 45 degrees, half of 90, 45 degrees, half of 90. So your back is supposed to hurt, the elbows are supposed to hurt, knee locked, toe pointed, leg up, change, slowly come down. All right, everybody, left side, inhale breathing, slowly, gently, left leg lift up for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lock the knee, point the toe, change. Slowly come down. <laughs> Too many of them weren't pointed. Okay, now we're gonna do both legs. Everybody readjust the hand palms underneath the body, bring them even closer together. Turn your head in, mouth on the floor. Take a deep breath. And both legs lift up. Everybody, just 45 degrees all the way for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down. No crash landings. Arms out by your side. Shake them out if you need to a little bit. And then just lay still. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Second set, Salabhasana, Locust Pose. Everyone, get your arms underneath your body, palms facing your mat. Yeah, so try to get your elbows even deeper underneath your body. Your elbows will hurt less the closer they are together. Get a nice tight grip. Relax the left leg, right leg solid, concrete one piece. Take a deep breath, and now right leg lift up 45 degrees, half of 90. There you go, everyone. Chin on the, on the mat. Bring your leg even higher all the way. Point the toes. Make sure your knees are locked a little higher at the end. And change. Right leg down. Relax the right leg. Take a deep breath. And now left leg lift up all the way. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Make sure your knee is locked. Bring the... Point the toes, point the toes. There we go. Come up a little higher. Don't give up. Last couple seconds. And change. Left leg down. Now mouth on the floor, readjust your hand palms, try to grip the floor with your hand palms, all ten fingers together. Take a deep breath, and now both legs lift up all the way for one, two, three, four, five, six, knees locked, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly both legs down. Woo! Arms out by your side. Nice job over here. Beautiful. And relax. Right here on the towel. Yeah. Ten second rest here. Hornasalavasana, full locust posture. Bring your arms out by your side like airplane wings. All five fingers touching side by side, elbows locked. You can say hi to your neighbor here for 20 years. Going strong. Feet together, heels together, chin on the floor. Take a deep breath. Lift your arms, chest, head, legs, whole body. Lift up off the ground like a 747 taking off. Only the hip bones are on the floor. The rest of the body is in the air. Feet together, please. Feet together, everybody. Arms up, arms back, chest up, chest up. Look up, go up, struggle harder. One more time. Change. Slowly come down. Beautiful. Arms by your side. And just relax. The only thing that hasn't been updated in 20 years is the 747. We <laughs> 
Street. Airbus 380? Airbus 380. Is that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Concord. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Second set, Purna Salabhasana, full locust pose. Arms out by her side like airplane wings, palms facing the floor, chin on the mat. Bring your feet together to begin, toes and heels together. Get ready, everyone. Take a deep breath. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lift off the floor like a 747 taking off. Look up and go up, everyone, all the way up. Look up towards the ceiling, only your hip bones touching the floor. Your arms should be parallel with the tops of your head. Keep going up. Last couple seconds, try to reach the highest point at the very end and change. Slowly come down. Arms down by your side and relax. Completely relax. Okay, our final spine strengthening posture, Dhanurasana bow pose. Bend the knees, grab the feet a couple inches below the toes. So right away, you want to be two wheels in one base. So if you need to bring the knees a little bit closer from the start, so when you kick out, they won't go as far apart. Bring the knees a little bit in. So right away, chin on the floor, two wheels in one base. Look up and go up. Look up and go up. Literally look up towards the ceiling and go up. Where your eyes go, your body will follow. And then kick your legs back and up towards the ceiling as much as possible. Roll forward into your abdomen. So from the side, your feet are in the center. Everybody keep kicking. Kick more. 360 degree angle backward bending for, against gravitation. Keep kicking. Everybody kick more. Kick harder. Wrist straight more. One more time. Change. Slowly come down. Arms by your side and just relax. We're facing this side right now with the left ear, the right facing the right side. Second set, Dhanurasana bow pose. Grab your feet from the outside. Make sure your fingers are touching each other. Thumbs touching with the index finger. Get a nice tight grip. Arms and legs are like two wheels in one base. Chin on the floor, everyone. Take a deep breath. And now look up and kick up all the way. Kick as hard as possible. Look up towards the ceiling. Make sure your wrists are straight. Roll forward a little bit so your feet are in the center from the side. Look up and kick up. Keep kicking, everyone. Keep kicking. Look up and go up. Keep kicking. Kick harder all the way. Look up and kick up. And change. Slowly come down. Relax the legs. I like that. Look up and kick up. Look up and kick up. I need to say that more. <laughs> okay. Soup to Vajrasana, fix firm posture. Stand up on your knees and come to the top of your towel or your mat. And then sit down, knees together, in between the feet. So if the knees or the ankles hurt at all, open up the knees. But have some water also if you want. <laughs> you guys are looking at me like, uh, is she going to say it? Yes, have some water. So really, if there's any pressure on the ankles, knees, open the knees, put the fingertips on the toes. The reason I say that is because once you're in the posture, you can bring the knees a little closer together when you're more warmed up. So if you need to open them to start, put the fingertips on the toes. With the help of the right elbow, go back. The left elbow, go back. Then the top of the head on the floor. Open up your feet. Yeah, the back of the head on the floor. Then the shoulders. The whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Now grab the elbows each other over the head. Yes. So once you're here, tuck the chin to the chest and lift up the chest so from the side you look like a natural human bridge change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up, right elbow, left elbow, turn around and relax on your back in Savasana.
Arms over your head sideways, feet together, flex your toes back, take a deep breath and quickly sit up. Double jerk, pull on your toes and touch your forehead on the knees. Second set, fix firm pose. Everyone turn around and sit down, Japanese style, come to the tops of the mat. Open up your heels and sit down in between your heels. Hips touching the, the heels, toes on the... Did we do second set? It's the second set. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. now slowly go down. You're confusing me. Go down. <laughs> go down. That was a test. <laughs> backward. Touch your elbows. First your right elbow, then the left elbow, then the back of your head. And now grab your elbows over the head. Tuck your chin to your chest. Stretch your stomach up towards the ceiling. Try to create a perfect human bridge underneath your lower back. Right. Nice job, everyone. Now bring, try to bring your knees together a little bit if you can. Change. Nice job, everyone. With the help of your elbows, slowly come up. Be careful of the knees, though, when you're coming out of this posture. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Feet together, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Ch -ch -ch. Turn around and half tortoise pose. Come to the middle of your, no, back of the towel, your mat, and sit down, knees together, feet together. Arms over your head, palms together, thumbs crossed. So yeah, this time you're sitting on the feet. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, and you go down. Spine straight. Touch the forehead on the floor. Touch the forehead on the floor. And then the little baby fingers touch the floor. So when you're going down, you want to keep the hips and the heels together. Stretch the fingertips forward towards the mirror. Elbows are locked. Only the little baby fingers are on the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air. Now everybody try to bring the hips down towards the heel. Push the hips down towards the heel. Stretch the fingertips forward towards the mirror. Extension of the shoulder and the scapula. One more time, change. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Arms and head together and arms down by your side. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Feet together, arms over your head, flex your toes back, take a deep breath and quickly sit up, double jerk, pull on your toes, forehead to the knees. Second set, half tortoise pose, Ardha Kurmasana. Turn around, sit down, Japanese style on the back of your towel. Arms over your head sideways, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up towards the ceiling, suck your stomach in, slowly, gently, go down front side and touch your forehead on the floor. Stretch your arms forward, all the way in front of you. Make sure your elbows are straight. There we go. Stomach on the thighs. Head up a little bit so your chin is away from your chest. Arms touching with your ears. Stretch your arms forward. Try to make sure your hips are touching with the heels. Change. Arms and head together. Gently come up. Arms down by your side. Turn around and relax in savasana try to get into savasana as quickly as possible and completely relax palms facing the ceiling eyes open breathing normal all right so as we come towards the end of class we want to make the sit-ups even nice and strong then before, feet together, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, breathing, sit up, double jerk, double exhale, ch -ch -ch. turn around and come to the top of your towel, your mat, for camel time. Woo! Yeah. We love it. Bunch of camels over here. Don't they hold water in their humps? Yeah. Okay. Guess we're camels. All right. Stand up on your knees. Put your hands on your hips, six inches between the knees, six inches between the feet, thumbs outside, fingers facing down. Take a deep breath and then drop your head back as far as it goes and then stop halfway. 
Grab your right heel with your right hand, thumbs outside, fingers inside, and then left heel with your left hand, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Then exhale, breathing, push. Stomach, legs, hips, everything, push forward towards the mirror. 360 degree angle, backward bending, for gravitation, everybody. Imagine if you let go of the heels, you're gonna fling forward, exhale, breathing, push. Exhale, breathing, push. Exhale, breathing, push. One more time change inhale breathing slowly come up right hand right hip left hand left hip turn around and relax on your back in savasana Feet together, arms over your head, flex your toes back, take a deep breath and quickly sit up. Grab the toes, forehead to the knees. Second set, camel pose. Ustrasana, everyone come to the tops of the towel. Second set, eight inches in between your knees. So knees a little wider. Hands on your hips, fingers facing the floor, thumbs towards the outside. Push your hips forward towards the front mirror and drop your head back all the way. Stop halfway. Right hand down, grab the right heel, and now left hand down, grab the left heel. Fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside. You got a nice, tight grip. Don't lose that grip. Take a deep breath. Stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward towards the front mirror, guys. Push everything forward towards the front mirror, chest up towards the ceiling. Don't lose that grip. Make sure you have a tight grip. There we go. Push and push and push. Change. With the help of your hands, slowly come up. Be careful of the lower spine. Turn around and relax in Savasana. Feet together, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Turn around and come to the middle of your towel, your mat, for rabbit posture. Camel was our deepest back bend. Rabbit is our deepest forward bend. Sit down, knees together, feet together, and then fold the towel over your heels and grab your heels over the towel. Beautiful, so nice and tight grip, thumbs outside, fingers facing down. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest, and touch your forehead on the knees. Touch your forehead on the knees. Then lift your hips up towards the ceiling as much as possible. So if you start to feel the weight on the, on the head, pull on the heels, start to pull. Now walk the knees closer to the forehead to eliminate the gap one by one. Now pull on the heels, lift the hips up towards the ceiling and roll forward. There should be barely any weight on the head. That's how much you're pulling. Everybody keep pulling, pull harder. It's easy to stretch the upper back and the middle back in this posture. Difficult to stretch the lower spine. So you gotta pull on the heels, lift the hips up and roll forward one more time. Change, inhale breathing, slowly come out. One vertebrae at a time. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Feet together, arms over your head, flex the toes back, take a deep breath, and quickly sit up, double jerk, forehead to the knees. Second set, rabbit pose, sauce and gasana, everyone, please turn around, sit down Japanese style, on the middle of your towel, place the back of your towel over the heels, grab the heels over the towel, get a nice, tight grip. Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest, slowly go down front side and touch your forehead on the knees, automatically the top of your head will be touching the floor. Now lift your hips up, lift your hips up. There we go. Get a nice tight grip. And now make sure your for make sure your knees are touching your forehead. If your knees are not touching your forehead, walk your knees up. But make sure your knees are touching your forehead. Arms arms are completely straight. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Change, slowly come up, be careful of the neck. Turn around and relax in Savasana.
Everybody ready to party after? Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, but before that, feet together, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, breathing, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Ch -ch -ch. Turn around and sit facing the front mirror over here for Janu Shirasana with Paschimukhtasana, stretching. So turn and face the front mirror. Bring your right leg out corner-wise, bend the left knee so the heel is touching the costume. So if you look down, it should look like a perfect upside-down L. Arms over your head, interlock the fingers, nice and tight grip. Turn and face the, the right foot, suck the stomach in, and then grab the right foot a couple inches below the toes. All 10-finger interlocked grip. Now touch the forehead on the knee. So if you need to bend the knee up to touch the forehead on the knee, not a problem, everybody, especially as a beginner, you can touch the forehead on the knee. Once the forehead and the knee are touching, then kick the right heel forward out, flex the toes towards the face, try to lock the knee. Then bend the elbows next to the calf muscle, roll in to the left, roll in, roll in, roll in. Change, slowly come out, other side. Bend the, the right knee in, left leg out. Arms over your head, interlock the fingers, and then grab the left foot a couple inches below the toes. Suck the stomach in, tuck the chin to the chest, and touch the forehead on the knee. So if you need to bend the knee up to touch the forehead, all good. You can bend the knee, flex the toes towards the face. Everybody, flex the toes towards the face, please. I want to see Achilles tendon being stretched. Change. Slowly come out. And now both legs out in front of you. Lie down on your back. And as soon as the back touches the floor, sit up nice and strong. Double jerk, double exhale. Ch -ch -ch. Turn around and grab the big toes with the middle finger and the index finger. Just like this. These two fingers up here. Grab the middle finger and the index finger. And then walk the hips back 10 to 15 times or as much as you need to to feel the stretch all the way underneath the legs. So now pull on the toes until the heels come off the ground and then stretch the body down from the lower spine towards the toes. So everybody, once the legs are locked, try to concentrate on bringing the elbows down, but keep the chin up, head up first. And once the elbows come down, then you can bring the thumbs out and the head down. Until then, concentrate locking the legs, pull on the toes, stretch the body, continuously keep pulling, pull a little bit extra hard one more time, change, slowly come out. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Feet together, arms over your head, flex the toes back, take a deep breath, and quickly sit up. Double exhale, double jerk, forehead to the knees. Second set, stretching pose with head to knee. Everyone right leg out cornerwise. Bend the left leg so the left foot is touching the right inner thigh. Arms over your head, interlock your ten fingers, turn to the right, and grab your right foot in front of you. Get a nice tight grip, flex the toes back, stretch your elbows down towards the floor, and touch your forehead on the knee. If you can't touch your forehead on the knee, Bend the knee up a little bit. Now roll into the left, everyone. Left shoulder down, left elbow down. Roll into the left. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Change. Slowly come up. Left leg out cornerwise. Bend the right leg, right foot touching the left inner thigh. Arms over your head. Turn to the left and go and grab your left foot. All ten fingers together. Get a nice tight grip. Flex the toes back, touch your forehead on the knees, stretch your elbows down towards the floor. Make sure your elbows are nice and tucked, close to your knee. Now roll into the right, everyone, right elbow down, right shoulder down. Make sure your forehead is touching the knee. Lock the, couple, lock the knee a couple times at the very end and change. Slowly come up. Both legs out in front of you, lie down on your back, take a deep breath and quickly sit up. Double exhale and grab the big toes with your middle and index finger. Get a nice tight grip. Don't lose that grip. Walk your hips back a couple of times, right and left, right and left to make sure your legs are straight. Try to get your knees locked, walk your hips back, get a nice tight grip. Pull on your toes and stretch your body forward all the way. Suck your stomach in and stretch forward. Your goal is to touch your forehead on the toes. Try to get your heel coming off the floor. 
There we go. Stretch your elbows down. Your spine is straight. Touch the forehead, guys. Exhale, breathing and stretch. Exhale, breathing and stretch. Exhale, breathing and stretch. Stretch, stretch. Change. Slowly come up. Turn around and relax in your in savasana. Nice job, everyone. Feet together, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing, sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Ch -ch. Turn around and two sets finished, yes. Final posture, spine twisting. Turn and face the left side of the room. Bend the left knee corner wise and then bring the right foot in front of the left knee. So also class, just remember that both hips need to be on the floor. So if the right, if the left foot is going underneath the hip, bring the left foot out a little bit so that the both hips are on the floor. And then bring the left arm up and over. Grab the left knee with the left hand. All three things in one place, the knee, the hand, and the heel. And then left, right arm in the middle of the back. Inhale, breathing, chest up, spine straight, and twist each and every vertebrae twisting from top to bottom like a pearl necklace everybody chin over the shoulder and twist take a deep breath inhale breathing chest up more chest up more spine straight more chin over the shoulder more look over the shoulder more one more time change slowly come out and other side bend the right knee corner wise bring the left foot over the right knee right in front again both hips please on the floor so if the right foot is going underneath bring it out a little bit just so the hips are on the floor and then right arm up and over. Grab the right knee with the right hand. All three things in one place. The knee, the hand and the heel. Stretch the spine up. Left arm in the middle of the back. Inhale, breathing, chest up, spine straight and twist all the way to the left. Chin over the shoulder and twist. Each and every vertebrae twisting from top to bottom like a pearl necklace. Everybody inhale, breathing, chest up more, chest up more, chin over the shoulder more, look over the shoulder more. One more time, change. Slowly come out, <sighs> relax, turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. All right, guys, last sit up, feet together. Make it a really good sit up, arms over your head. Take a deep breath and quickly sit up. Double exhale, double jerk, forehead to the knees. Turn around for couple body breathing. We start with prana number breathing, we end with couple body breathing. So everyone please sit down Japanese style. Let's all do it together. Hands on your knees in front of you. Swallow a couple times, look in the mirror, lick your lips. Do two sets of this. First one, get ready and start, please. Nice job, everyone. Second set will be a little faster. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, spine straight. Take a deep breath and start, please. <laughs> Thank you guys. Turn around. Relax on your back. Relax on your back. Final savasana. Have some water if you like. Great class. Yeah. Awesome class. Thank you guys.
you want to say anything? Yeah? Okay, we'll do the final Savasana. One more. Oh, the lights, yeah. Thank you, Rashida. Okay, so fi for the final Savasana, if you'd like to shake out the legs a little bit and shake out the arms and then move the legs a little bit farther apart onto the towel or the mat. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> All right, move. Uh, if you need to move the jaw around a little bit, relax the face. Sometimes we get that determination to do the posture in the mirror. Close the eyes and sink in to the mat. Every breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Belly rise, belly fall. Your heart is still pounding out of your chest. Concentrate on the inhale and the exhale. In through the nose, out through the nose. Thank you, everybody. Namaste.